phase. Um, we, our product is built upon a couple uh, key features. The first feature is we really want to empower the users to be more in control of the user experience. So by doing this, what we've done is all of the information that is shown on the bottom half of the screen is what the user actually has control of creating. So for example, the user can go to the app, app store in the cloud and they can identify for their system any type of new app applets that they would like to display on their interface. So for example here what I'm doing is I'm selecting to place a thermostat into my master bedroom. So by selecting it automatically this thermostat is placed into the room and it asks me which thermostat would you like to place. So as I go in perhaps I want to place the thermostat that is located in the family room. So now what I'll do is I'll take a uh, thermostat that is located in the living room and place it into the system. Automatically that thermostat is placed into the system and I can now control the thermostat from the master bedroom for the living room. So as you can see, the system also has what we call uh, summary applets. For example, while I'm in the master bedroom, I can control all of the lights that are located in the different areas in the house. If it's time for me to go to bed and I want to turn off all the lights in the living room, I can select it while I'm in the master bedroom. So this user interface on the bottom portion is what the user controls and creates, whereas all the information that is located on the top from the launch bar are the controls that your system integrator will place into the individual rooms. So as I navigate from room to room within the system, you'll notice different areas as well as I can navigate to a specific uh, room within the house. Within that room, automatically the launch buttons will appear for what my integrator has programmed for that room. So here, for example, is the study keypad. I also have a thermostat that is available in the study, as well as multi, uh, as well as a audio control for that room. So these are all of the functions that the dealer programs, as well as scenes, which are my arrive and uh, goodbye scenes, for example. And these are all programmed by the system integrator based upon the user's needs. So now let me show you how the system integrator programs all of these functions from the cloud. And that is one of the key differentiators of our product, is that we empower the dealer to become more efficient by programming all of the user interface and all of the control system from the cloud. So let me take you through that. So what we're looking at now is the configuration tools that are based in the cloud. And this is how our systems integrators program the Claire Home systems. It's all done through the cloud and deployed from the cloud to the home. Um, the system actually operates on a Mac Mini located in the home, but all the programming is done in the cloud and deployed to the home. The deployment process of making changes and redeploying the system to the home takes approximately 45 seconds. So it's very fast. Um, what you'll notice here is we're logged in as a dealer and that dealer is Tempest and he has two different types of um, projects that are currently deployed. The system will automatically keep track of the version controls of all of the configuration files. So if you have changes that are occurring at that home and you've redeployed it and the customer doesn't like the changes and wants to roll back to the previous version, you can simply select the prior version and download that version to the system. <laughs> 45 seconds later, the customer is back to their prior version. So within the system, there are many different types of um, what we call application modules. These application modules range from CCTV, climate control, entertainment, lighting, music, pool, and security. The way that the system works is it's architected such that we have different drivers, device drivers and system drivers, based upon the different application modules. So for example, on the security system, we support all the major security systems from the GE and the ELK brands, on the pool controllers, the Jandy pool controllers. We have our own music streaming uh, product, which is based on a Cobranet technology. We support, um, from a lighting perspective, we support both uh, the Crestron and the Lutron systems, um, entertainment sources. We have an IR library of over 4,000 different types of IR devices. 
um, and the entertainment systems as well. When it comes to climate control, we support uh, April Air and there's another brand that I can't recall. Uh, could be. <laughs> I can't recall at this time. And then on the CCTV cameras, all of our CCTV applications, we have our own, which is a Claire Vision branded camera, which is an IP-based camera, and we also support the Access IP-based cameras. So the system is fairly open. Anytime uh, a new device driver is available, those drivers are placed into the configuration tool in the cloud so that our dealers throughout the uh, country can have access to it and reprogram and reconfigure their systems based upon their end users' needs. Um, the system, let me take you into um, an example of a system. So as we look through the system, we talked previously about the different types of areas that are available in the system, which is basically a logical grouping that allows the user to control all of those application modules from within an area. For example, a lighting uh, summary applet for the formal living room would allow the user to be able to control all of the keypads all of the individual keypads that are located in each of these rooms from one simple user interface. Um, the system is designed so that during the deployment, the programmer can be based in the cloud while the technician is located in the home. So for example, we've created our entire programming environment with more of a workflow type of a situation. So while the technician is out configuring the individual devices, we can verify the configuration, the connection, and do a test to make sure everything is functioning before we continue programming the system. So this allows efficiency for the dealer because he's got one high-level programmer who's programming in the cloud while the lower-level technicians are out in the field connecting. The system is very easy to deploy. Um, all of your version controls are persisted in the system, so anytime there's a problem, you can roll forward or roll back. The system also allows you to create different types of scenes and rules um, based upon the user's entry conditions, for example, arriving home or departing in the evening, which will be a series of logical conditions. Uh, based upon how the user wants to program across multiple application modules, from disarming the security system, turning down the lights, turning on the music, and doing all of those in a sequence. So the user, um, if the user wants a modification to a scene, he can contact his dealer, the dealer can make those modifications and roll those out to the system while it's operating. A couple of the key features of the system are because of the architecture and how we have developed drivers for each of the application modules. If, for example, a um, user decides to swap out a DVD player for a Blu-ray player, those modifications are as simple as changing a driver and the user interface is rendered based upon the new programming on the controller. So there is no reprogramming of touch panels, everything is rendered back to the iPad. So we've really tried to focus on improving the dealer efficiency by doing that with cloud-based tools to help them program and deploy. We also have in the system uh, a general network monitoring solution which allows the system, the, the integrator, to be able to look at the health of the underlying architecture that these systems are sitting on. For example, um, now we're tunneling into the assurance platform which allows the dealer to see all of his sites, how they're operating, any conditions on the infrastructure tunnel in to see what those conditions are. So a case in point, if you, the last thing you want is the, a homeowner to call you and tell you they've got a problem. Instead, you'd like to not be notified of that before the problem becomes apparent to the consumer. So with this application, a critical condition can be automatically sent out to a technician's pager so that he can log into the system and diagnose the problem. So the combination of all of our cloud-based tools um, really provide the uh, dealer a, a, a new efficiency to help him run his business and maintain and, and service his clients. I got a question. If you sure. Met any in the house, um, how do you interface material devices and stuff like that? We, we 
support um, the uh, various global cache iTouch devices and we also have a few uh, devices that we've manufactured ourselves in conditions because we understand that um, consumers really like to use wand remotes when it comes to entertainment devices so we have developed an RF to IP um, conversion for the wand remotes so we do have one product that we've uh, created as well as a few that we um, are using from global cache so our goal as a company is really to be a more of a software based approach we only manufacture hardware when it's required because there's a lack of a solution in the market so, so the receiver that does uh, IR to IP, is that something that can be bought standalone and integrated with a different component or is it part of the system? Um, it, it can be bought separately. It's a separate product offering that we have. Um, and um, all of the products from the Claire Assure can be purchased and run separately with or without the Claire Home and the Claire Vision video uh, IP surveillance systems. Um, as well as they can all be run together. So um, we have various product solutions from the Assure product to the Claire Home and the configuration environment that I showed you and also the IP video surveillance solutions. Yeah. With Claire Vision, we've integrated video analytics directly into the camera head. It gives us the ability to accurately record um, images. It's unlike video motion detection where it will activate on light change and tree plant movement, we can eliminate that and you can see we're just detecting people and it will only be when it sees a person or a vehicle that the system will actually send an event file to the NVR and record. We can also detect with the advanced license the differences between people, groups of people, vehicles, dogs, foxes and we can create virtual walls and virtual tripwires so we can really determine the difference and make sure that the alarms are accurate. When an alarm is generated, that's sent to the MVR and then from the event list we can search, select an event play back a particular event. You can, you can pin cameras together so they will be the simultaneous cameras will be played together. The user interface is totally customizable. You can select any camera to any segment and you can split segments of the screen down even further. You can switch from watching a camera live to archive. Scroll back minutes, hours. Or back to a previous day. And the Claire Vision system can either be deployed standalone or as an integrated part of the Claire Home platform. If it's standalone, what type of chassis, what type of hardware does it run on? It runs, you can either have a local MVR or you could have a remote MVR with multiple cameras running, connected across the internet. The beauty of recording with analytics is we're only recording events, so you can do remote transmission over the internet to a remote MVR because we're only sending relatively small packets and each, each one is a genuine event rather than sending blank video files. You can see that we're, we're detecting here that like groups of people and individual people and right. you can set different parameters and, and different actions based on the type of person or the type of object that has been detected. You can also select with the advanced analytics. With the advanced analytics you can select um, object left 
object removed. So if you've got a, an art gallery with right. five or six pieces of artwork, one of those is removed, it will give you that alarm. Object left in anti-terrorist situations. If somebody leaves a box or a case, it can detect that within less than 60 seconds. Anti-tamper, anti-scene um, change, so if somebody grabs a camera and moves it. Right. You can count people, you can monitor the direction of traffic, um, vehicle speed. It really is quite limitless on, on what you can detect and the changes you can make.